Hey guys, it's Mio, and today I'm going to do a Minion tutorial. I've been obsessed with Minions recently. They're everywhere. They had the movie that came out this summer, and they're just wonderful characters. I just had to dedicate something to them. In my chance, I found this kit when I was walking the night markets of Korea. I thought this was super adorable, and what better way than to create a 3D Minion than using these tiny little Lego blocks. But you don't need to be in Asia to purchase this product. I will provide a link below to Amazon.com where you can buy this cute little minion. They actually have a million different designs so you can flip through and see which one you liked. But of course I chose the minion in honor of its wonderful movie that came out. This project is pretty similar to playing with Legos except on a much smaller scale. The pieces are pretty much identical to the actual shape except of course they are a lot smaller. When you open up the box they come with some instructions. It's just a sheet of paper that has all the materials you need to create this project and step-by-step -step instructions on how you put it together. So you can see here it lists all the Lego pieces you need and on the bottom it has pictorial views of how you piece it. So you don't have to worry if you don't speak the language, there's nothing written on it. And of course you get a bag of Lego pieces. As you can see there are a lot of small tiny pieces in here and in fact most of them are much smaller than my actual finger itself. It's much smaller scale than the actual Lego. So you want to make sure you do this in an area where you can't lose very many objects. In fact these pieces are so small that the box itself does not recommend this project for anyone less than 14 years old. But if you're okay with smaller pieces, possibly you might be able to this, do this project. If you're a little bit younger, this box contained 260 Lego pieces. So I did drop a few and let me tell you they're very hard to find in the carpet. I'm not going to go through step by step on how I pieced everything together because there's so many pieces and would be a really really long boring video. Instead I'm just going to show you guys how I piece the pieces all together. If you want to make a larger minion, I actually think you can copy this exact same instruction booklet on a larger scale and create regular minion made from Lego blocks if you want. But I actually think it's kind of cute to have a pocket sized minion made of tiny little Legos and you can bring it wherever you want. As you can see, this minion is actually hollow inside. I thought it would be a solid piece, so this piece is actually a lot more fragile than I thought it would be as well. The entire time it took me to construct this project was around 60 to 90 minutes, give or take. If you aren't very good with picking up smaller objects, it might be a little more frustrating and more time consuming on your part. Because some of these Lego pieces are so small, I do recommend you guys to take this time on this project because if you accidentally put two Lego pieces that aren't supposed to be together, it does take a longer time to pull them apart. So yeah, that is how my minion turned out. It's super cute and as you can see, I have a lot of leftover Legos. I recommend you guys to save these for a later time if you have another project that you like to create. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. For more videos like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, if you would like to purchase this kit, I will provide a link below to Amazon.com so you can peruse through the different minions that they have. If you'd like to follow me on my other social media websites, including Twitter and Instagram, I will provide the links in the down bar. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys soon. Bye!